understand why the breakup happened. When breakups are used as a learning tool like this, they can help you determine whether the relationship can be re-established into a healthier, happier union. As you reflect on your relationship, certain key questions can give you clarity on how to move forward. Why did we break up? What would other people say about our relationship? What needs to change? How do I want to feel in a relationship? Once you've determined you want to try and get them back, you need to reflect on your relationship and understand the specific cause of your breakup. 1. Your ex couldn't get what they wanted in a relationship with you. They have certain goals or desires that just can't be fulfilled while in a relationship with you. They may not have any complaints about you or the relationship itself. This is a simple one, without many layers. But I think that's what also makes it one of the trickiest issues to deal with, there's usually not much you can directly influence. The most important thing here is to consider what you really want. It's not advisable to jump into a deeper commitment than you might be ready for, but a lot of us have never actually given it as much thought as we should. It's also important to be completely honest with yourself and them. You might be tempted to agree to something now because you don't want to lose them, but if you're not actually on the same page, you're just delaying the inevitable. And making sure everyone gets a lot more hurt later. 2. They have lost attraction towards you. This is one of the most common reasons why people broken up. And it's not just about someone's balding head, there's a lot of factors that are involved. Loss in physical attraction If your physical appearance has suffered since you both started dating, it's likely to have contributed towards your breakup in some way. It's time to take a look in the mirror. Loss in your status When I say status, I'm not specifically referring to the relative status between the both of you, e.g., you are better than them, now they're better than you. That's absolutely not the implication. It refers to their impression of your status when compared to your past self, and other people. 3. They haven't been getting their emotional needs met. When two people are in a relationship with each other, a lot of things are taken for granted and left unsaid. Arguably the most important component of a successful relationship is making sure both your emotional needs are met. Even if the attraction between you both is great and you share similar goals and interests, it will all be for nothing if both of you aren't emotionally fulfilled. Lacking attention, you may have unconsciously stopped paying attention to their needs and desires. In a long-term relationship, over months and years, our lives shift, move, and we are constantly taking up new responsibilities and tasks. Lacking intimacy, intimacy is a foundation of relationships. It represents that two people care about and trust each other enough to make themselves vulnerable in each other's company. Without intimacy, no romantic relationship will ever go far. Lacking support, having each other's back and supporting your partner is an important part of a fulfilling relationship. If they felt like they couldn't rely on you for emotional support, it's not surprising that they decided to end things. Lacking security, if someone isn't feeling secure in their relationship, it's not going to go very far. 4. They lacked compatibility with you. We're all going through our lives at different speeds and in different directions, all of us have wants and desires that are largely independent of each other we may not all share the same values in life. Compatibility is key to a long-lasting relationship. Even the strongest chemistry, attraction, and all the understanding in the world can't substitute for compatibility. This doesn't mean that two people have to be 100% compatible, and in fact, a little difference is appreciated. But if two people are truly incompatible, it can be really hard to get around it. Incompatible values, we can't all have similar values in life, 
though that'd be great. There are a lot of things that are very important to some people and incompatibility in any one of these things can be enough to end the relationship, health and fitness, the involvement of extended family, traveling, religion, integrity, privacy, etc. Different points in life, maybe you both just lack enough commonalities. Life experiences, personality, cultural background, maturity level, financial situation, general life experiences, etc. all factor into where we believe we are in life, when to get an education, start a career, living the simple life, moving in together, get married, have kids, etc. Unhealthy lifestyle, if you have any habits that they disliked, especially ones that are negatively affecting your health in some way, they may have decided not to put up with it. Sexual incompatibility, this is actually a lot more common breakup reason than most expect. 5. They can't trust you as much as they'd like to. Trust is an integral part of relationships. It is the foundation for intimacy, comfort, even attraction to an extent. If they felt like they couldn't trust you, they would not be able to continue the relationship. There may be many reasons why they'd come to this conclusion. Lying, if you've lied to them in the past, it's easy to see why they may not trust you completely. Breaking promises, if you've made promises to them and failed to carry through, you've basically set yourself up for failure. Depending on the severity and frequency, it's going to be really hard for you to fix this. 6. They found someone else. The one thing none of us want to hear. Yet, it is always a possibility. If they found someone else, that's just one part of it. For them to decide to leave you for this other person, it also means that this other person provides more value than you. In their eyes and for their current needs, they believe the other person is a better fit. Is it possible to get them back? Every relationship is different, and a breakup doesn't mean it is over. Once you've understood why the breakup happened, and are certain about trying to fix things, you can move on to the next step towards getting your ex back. Thanks for watching. Leave your comment and don't forget to subscribe.